buses coming through. We must keep the municipality functioning. Do not hold up the buses. You guys are filming forever. <laughs> forever filming, yeah. We're looking, it's our, uh, we're cause looking in for all these people that we know from Max College. I'm going to go tell this guy just to say their names. No, you say anybody knows anyone from Max College. I mean, it's very small. Yeah. How, 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 how big is it, would you say? 1,100. That, that is do you, do you enjoy going there? I love it. So say, where is Knox College again? It's New York State? It's, no, it's in the middle of the Midwest, the middle of the expanse of like land. And Indiana, right? Land and land and land, in the land. middle of Illinois. Illinois. Next to yeah. Iowa and Indiana, uh, there's just land as far as your eye can see. Okay. <laughs> so it's probably good that it's only 1,100 people. Very small. Okay. How long are you in uh, That's town? That's Lincoln Douglas debates for you, you know. Sorry, say that again. <laughs> what did you say? It's all like claim to fame. We have a... We we had the Lincoln Doug Douglas debates there. Oh, I see. So, so how long are you in town for, would you say? Till you leave, basically? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Till we leave. Which is how long? Like, you're planning on leaving, like, are you going tomorrow night's well, show? Do we want to move? <laughs> no, no, no. Are you, go are you planning on going tomorrow night's show? Albany? No, no, tomorrow night's show here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then after that, you'll... And then after that, Albany or home. Albany or home? What, what would be the uh, decision making? The funds or? Money, funds, funds, yeah. So you just, are you're on spring break or something like that? Mm hmm. What's the weather like out there right now? In, in like Nashville? here, like here, kind of. Cold, wintry, sort of. Well, it was great when we left. It's gorgeous when we camped. It was beautiful. <laughs> Is he from Knox College? What? Is he from Knox College? No. <laughs> hey, did you hear that? If he was, I would recognize him. <laughs> <laughs> Since there's only 1,100 people in the whole college. Cosmic Charlie, you requested the report. Hey, you want to talk to us, man? A hot dog stand. Cosmic sure. Charlie. Uh, just wondering what you think of the whole situation. I think it's great. I think it's great. Do you work at Cops Coliseum regularly? Yes, I do. Is this the most fun you've had working here? Oh, one of them. We'll see how the cards are going. Then, uh, should be. What other event was uh, the most fun, would you say, for you? Death Leopard. Death Leopard, yeah? Great. You know much about what Grateful Dead's about, or...? Not really. I, I remember when I was younger, they were a group back then. and. Uh, did you ever see them when you were younger? No, I didn't. So I wish I had them, really. You know anybody that did see them when they were younger? Uh, not that I know of, no. Can I help you? Yeah. Who said Shauna Hart? We're looking for Craig McDonald. No idea. <laughs> There's a son of a bitch on the t shirt man. Go talk to, uh, go talk to the guy. Son of a bitch on the f***ing top right there. That's negative. Did you charge Very him? negative. Thank you very much. Why, why, is he, why is he a son of a bitch? Because he's got my t-shirts. Ticket sale. He stole your t-shirt. Oh, you're selling them and he didn't want you to sell them. I w yeah. That's basically what it turns out to be. Yeah. And that guy, he represents the Grateful Dead. And what do I represent? The like, you know? Galdeen, okay? I don't know. Sorry, but he treated you badly, I guess. <laughs> well, a dissatisfied customer, I guess. How do you like their announcements? Bob Weir, Cosmo <laughs> Charlie. So, uh, you, co you come to dead shows often? As often as I can. Yeah, which is, how, like, how many shows you seen? Oh, I lost track. My first show was 77. I even met Jerry last year through the grace of my friends at 10,000 Maniacs. Groovy, huh? Yeah, <laughs> so uh, what, what what makes you uh, come to dead shows, would you say? Like, what's the... Um, the community, the tribal spirit. Um, I was in Thailand, and I met deadheads, and it was instant camaraderie, you know? It's like family. And um, I think there's a good healing vibration here. There's a lot of love and a lot of good energy, and we need that in these times. Right on. I'm with you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Sure. Where are you from, by the way? Uh, Jamestown, New York. A lot of people from New York here, I guess, because it's so ex it's pretty close, I guess. Yeah, exactly. What's the, what's the farthest from home you've been to see a dead show? Well, you know, I, I gypsy around a lot, and I've come all the way from California to do East Coast shows. Oh, really? That's, uh, that's a long way. You know, I go whenever I can. Whenever it's, you know, grace comes my way and I can go, I go. I know. I get a lot of good energy from this scene. There's a lot of good people. Washington, Land Hartford. over Maryland. Hartford. Uh, going to Albany. Going to Albany 
after this. So, so how do you finance such a lifestyle? I'm, uh, I'm curious about it. Well, you just save your pennies and <laughs> so you just you can, you know. go in spurts like you, you go for a long time and then uh, go home. And you're broke for a while. Yeah, you, you know, you spend all your and money and then, then you're broke for a while. you need all your money for tickets again. Right. As soon as the, the one tour is over, the next one starts. You know, it's all an endless cycle. <laughs> I don't know. The scene here is kind of a little bit, it's changed from the times I remember. It's not as... Uh, too many cops, too many undercovers, too many this and that, but essentially, you know, third row center, third row center. How's that? Is this like a big event in like Canada or something? Is this like... Yeah, it's an event. It, it interests us, so to us it's an event. It interests like a lot of the New York State cops on the way up too. They, they didn't know what was going on. All these cars going, all these crazy kids. So they weren't aware that it was happening, but they just started realizing there was a... I think they did after a while. They, they like... I'm sure it goes out on all like all the police bulletins that there's a dead show somewhere along the way, you know? <laughs> all right, how you doing, man? Canada! Where are you guys from? Uh, Bowling uh, Green University. Yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah. You just came up here for the dead show and hang around for a few days? Yeah. yeah. I had cool. trouble at the border though. The border scene really sucked. Don't want don't want don't like that border coming into Canada, that's for sure. Did they make you empty your pockets and uh, spit on the floor? They searched, they searched everything, yep. Like major search like Yeah, without without any probable cause. Just told them that we were going to the dead shows. Bastards. We don't do illegal <laughs> drugs. <laughs> Thanks guys, see ya. Can we talk to you for a few minutes? So uh, you're coming to the dead show to sell some uh, all Canadian beef hot dogs? That's right, that's my friend. <laughs> Do you come to the cops call see him when things are going on often? No, I used to come here like, you know, Christmas parade and uh, a few, uh, you know, occasions. So it's not a regular thing to come in? No, it's, no, no, it's not. You do this full time? like? Full time, yes. All good good time. money in selling hot dogs? No, not that much, you know. <laughs> groovy, groovy. <laughs> Well, I came from Toronto, you know. Oh, you did? Yes, I did. You, you know anything much about what the Grateful Dead's all about, or? No, I th uh, well, my friend told me, he said it's a big show, and that's why I came here. So oh, it's... they need food too, huh? <laughs> so, it's, uh, so it sounded like it'd be worth coming to to, to do this. Sure, it's good. It's going to be good, yeah? Cool. All right. Thanks very much, man. Thank you. Thanks. My only main problem is, see, we came over here from St. Catharines. This ain't far for our, you know, our jaunt and whatnot. We come all the way, we try to find my lady in maternity tie-dye. You know, we can't find her one, man, you know? She's right over here. You All right, sure, we'll, we'll, we'll come over and talk to yeah. her. I mean, is there so a, that's her, quite a... That show too. She's going to see one after she, you know, after she gets, you know, after we have the child and whatnot. But our main problem is we can't find the maternity tie-dye. So, you know, I think you should talk to her about it, talk <laughs> to these people. So do you, do you find it quite a problem, like you really were looking, yes. hoping to get Yes, one? yes. So do you, do you think that you'll ever find one, or maybe you no. might have to? <laughs> Would you be willing to make your own? Yes. So all you vendors out there and all you that has to travel and whatnot, you guys got to think of the, the people come with little kids in wagons, this and that. You got to think of the pregnant deadhead, okay? We need maternity tie-dyes. Check.